the night, uh, I think the week before this fight happened, he told Buster Douglas, told his mom he was going to knock out Mike Tyson. And I'm sure his mom was like, okay, baby, you can, okay, that's great. <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. Watch out. Again, Mike Tyson was one of the most feared, per per feared boxers ever. Buster Douglas' mom passed away a couple days after they had that conversation, before the fight. And Buster Douglas said, you know what? I told my mom I was going to knock him out and become the heavyweight champion of the world. So I'm sure he got to the fight and said, you know, okay. And Mike did his thing, tried to intimidate. He even knocked Buster Douglas down. And he got back up and somehow brought out the whatever, the energy, the dog, whatever, and knocked out Mike Tyson, shocked the world because of, not just because of his skill, not just because of his practice, but because of his why. Because his mom was counting on him and he didn't want to let his mom down. So when I ask you that question, who's counting on you, that's how you go from average to great. You don't think about yourself, you think about others. You put others before you. And sometimes a little bit more is going to have to come out of you. My coach always says before something comes to you, something's going to have to come from you. So we live in this world where we want these titles. We want, oh, man, people to think about I'm the you know, I won the leader of the year award or whatever that may be when you don't you haven't done anything. And it's not about the accolades. It should be about the service. So I ask you another question. Who are you serving right now? Who are you serving? Because in order to defeat that thing, procrastination, social media, average relationships, whatever those things are that you might have wrote down that you need to stop, you're going to have to do more.